Hello, my name is Amy Hicker. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing these little bad beauties. We have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick and the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. I will say that um, you do want to let, if, if you use a, a priming spray, let the priming spray set before you try to use the stick. You'll see in the video, mine kind of where it had dried, the stick went on fine and it kind of just slid off the priming spray. So once the priming spray settled down, I was able to finish coloring in. I normally don't have good luck with stick foundations. This one went on really, really nice. Like really, really nice. So I have high hopes for Milani. Mine is in the color 245 Warm Beige. And the net weight is 0.46 ounces. So not not even half of what you get in a fluid ounce but like i said it colored on great the uh, the uh concealer went on really nice not as heavy as the shape tape it's a lot lighter so but it even though it is a lighter consistency than the shape tape it went on really nice and brightened really well so i'm hoping that picks up in the camera we're going to see how these two do all day. My makeup set up really nice on it, so I have no complaints there. Okay, today we're going to use some Milani products. I haven't used the Conceal and Perfect foundation yet, and I'm going to try their concealer. I haven't tried that either. So we're going to start out using the Scandinavia Priming Spray. Okay, this is in warm beige. Maybe I need to let the priming spray set because it's like sliding off the priming spray. Just coloring it in. I probably put on way too much. All right. Oh, wait, it's getting darker. Actually went on really nice. Oh, this is uh, warm beige number 245. Now let's see what the concealer does. Okay, those two blended together really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with some powder. For the most part, I haven't had any luck with stick foundations working all day. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I've got high hopes for this one. Okay, so now that we've got the face done, we are going to use a setting spray. The makeup set up nice and uh, yeah, it looks pretty. Okay, so it's the end of a work day. It's 927 Central Standard Time. So I've had this foundation on for at least 14, almost 15 hours. So we're basically at the 15 hour mark. And I am pretty dang impressed with the results. So we're gonna get up close and personal. We're gonna look at this and we are going to be impressed. I know we're gonna be impressed. Okay, so it's been 14 hours and we have had a great day trying this out as far as the Conceal and Perfection. I, you know, have been amazed at this. So we are up close and personal. The bottom of my chin is gone. I have rested my, my hands up on my chin. So my nose is still intact and it doesn't look... It doesn't look like the foundation is lifted up. I will say that I have not blotted. So all of these oils are after 14 and a half hours and it looks amazing. I've tried a lot of drugstore foundations recently and really loved the results. The crazy thing about this is I don't really like stick foundations at all like stick foundations don't work on me so I thought okay Milani has some you know kind of strong products so let's try a stick foundation holy crud after 14 plus hours I love how this looks I can't imagine how this foundation looks if I would blot take off the oils um, 
powder again. Like this foundation is doing a great, great job. Some foundations don't look this good after a half a day. So this might be the first foundation I love that's a, a stick form and 14 hours. Oh my God. So I can't wait to tell Sabrina, the makeup mom, about this foundation. I want her to try it because she does have oily skin. So let's talk about the concealer. So I tried the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect. I really liked the brightening of the concealer. I also like the fact that it was lighter. Everyone loves Tarte Shape Tape. And it's a really thick concealer. And it does a great job. I mean, it, it will hide anything because it's very thick, it's very pigmented, etc. What I like about Milani's Conceal and Perfect is it's a little bit more lightweight or a whole lot more lightweight. And so as you're dabbing it in, you're thinking, okay, it's not as thick or heavy as the Tarte Shape Tape. So how's it really gonna do? Well, because it's lighter, it just glided on and did a great job. It didn't crease or get thick. It didn't, it didn't do anything bad that a concealer would do. I would say that it was light and it brightened. I can't believe that I love a stick foundation. So I'm going to keep using this for the rest of the week because I've really, really enjoyed this. So anyways, I'm looking forward to your opinions, comments, questions, etc. below. I'm pretty freaking amazed.